Hi, and welcome to Hull & Hull TV. I'm Dana O'Brien, and I'm joined by Ian Hull and Susanna Popovit montag partners at Hull & Hull LLP, an innovative law firm that practices exclusively in estate, trust, and capacity litigation. Here at Hull & Hull TV, we're exploring the issues around estate planning that affect you. Ian and Susanna, they are the largest and fastest growing segment of our population. 9.6 million people, or 3 in 10 Canadians, are baby boomers. They are also a generation of tremendous wealth. Ian, as baby boomers get older, what do they need to know about estate planning? Well, I think one of the sort of hard and fast rules for a baby boomer should be revisit the estate plan every five to seven years maximum. Also, consider revisiting at any major event occurring in your life, like getting remarried or a situation where uh, grandchildren come onto the scene or a situation where, God forbid, someone passes away out of order, so to speak. That review can be crucial and it is not something that is overwhelming. It can be done regularly and efficiently. Given that baby boomers are a generation of tremendous wealth, Susanna, does lifetime gifting make sense? I think that in certain circumstances, it certainly can make a lot of sense. And you'll want to, of course, consult with your professional advisors to see if that's something that makes sense for you in your particular circumstances. If it does turn out that you have excess assets and that you're got enough to sort of deal with during your lifetime, then certainly there are means by which you can gift. You can do outright gifts, you can set up trusts, you can uh, consider perhaps charitable gifting or setting up even charitable foundations. Lots of options out there to help us in our ultimate goal, which really is to transition wealth as tax efficiently as possible. How common is it? It's actually quite common, I would say, especially as you mentioned earlier with the increased uh, wealth that is out there, the boomer generation, people are a lot more sophisticated and I'm finding that certainly in my experience that they are looking to be able to do and pass on some of their wealth during their lifetime when they can see the good that it's actually doing as opposed to waiting until the very end. In a recent survey showed that more than half of Canadians expect to inherit and most are expecting a bit of a windfall. So what's the best way of managing those expectations? Well, I think, obviously, sitting down and having a meaningful discussion with your family is the starting point. Use your advisors, though. As Susanna says, there are ways to manage the expectations with advisors who can bring in ideas and unique ideas, creative ideas to the certain family situations. I like to pile on the information early and often to the client, then start to filter it out gradually to the family to the extent that's needed, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden expectations surround reality. We're not going to have someone who passes away with X dollars in an estate that's a big surprise. You actually know what's happening and what's going to happen. Another growing segment of the Canadian population is the sandwich generation, people who care for older parents and their kids. Ian, is it more common now for sandwich boomers to make provisions for their parents? Well, I think, unfortunately, it is a slow turn on that reality. And more and more Canadians are facing that reality, haven't accommodated for it, haven't got the resources ready uh, to look after their parents in that sense because they aren't ready for that sort of transition. They're expecting the opposite. Governments, though, are jumping ahead of this curve. They're allowing uh, Canadians to start to take time off to look after their elderly parents in work environments. And I think it's also one of those situations where the review of your will and your estate plan is so crucial. I always say it's not an estate plan. It's planning your estate and look at it on the positive. So if you can plan ahead on anything you do, it's only going to go for the good. Ian and Susanna, thank you. And thanks for joining us on Hull & Hull TV.